I actually <clears throat> actually think there's a lot to that because in a certain sense, the thing that separates us from animals is our ability to believe in something bigger than ourselves. Animals, as best we know, or non-human animals don't have that same ability to have faith. Yes. And so the fact that that's essential to our humanity, also the flip side of that makes it something that we really badly need to fulfill. Yeah. So long as we are actually fully human beings. And if we're not going to fill it with the real thing, we're going to fill it with something else. And so my definition of a cult is in, in many ways a religion that has not withstood the test of time. And I think that we have the rise of these different secular cults in America that have oddly arisen at the same time in our national history. Yep. Right. You think it's a coincidence that we bow to the God of climate, as you said, I like the way you put it, worshiping or sort of sensing changes in weather patterns as something that we have to use as an atonement for our sins. It's, it's an interesting question. It's a separate question of. Do you see that at the same time that your identity is based on your race, your gender, and your sexuality, and that you're on some intersectional pyramid, higher or lower, based on the combination of those attributes you inherit on the day you're born? Or a religion that says the sex of the person you're attracted to is hardwired on the day you're born at the same time that you have to believe that your own biological sex <laughs> is completely not fluid over your life? I, I bring that up because what is a faith-based system or a religious system? It's a system where you could espouse otherwise illogical beliefs, mm. right? Logic and reason could not lead you to these beliefs, but it has to be a different way of believing them. That's what we as a human being have a need for. Mm -hmm. We have a need to have beliefs that defy logic. And so if it's not going to be grounded in belief in a traditional religion, belief in God, even belief in a nation, a commitment to a nation is not something that flows out of logic flows out of something that we as human beings have a desire for, have a need for, something bigger than ourselves, we're going to channel that impulse to something else. But the problem, and this is the danger of it, is not that it's not the time-tested faiths. It's the fact that we then trick ourselves into thinking that it isn't faith at all, right? Because when you go to church, you know what you're doing, right? You go to a temple, you know what you're doing. You're praying to God. You're exercising a side of your brain that's different than that which you're exercising if you're pouring chemicals in a lab and measuring things. But I think what's happened is in absence of traditional faith and traditional beliefs, where we recognize that we're exercising our faith to believe in these things, we see the rise of new secular religions, secular cults instead, which we fail to recognize are actually religious belief systems. Exactly. Like the climate belief system. Mm -hmm. And I think the most dangerous religions are the ones that we fail, fail to recognize as religions in the first place and delude ourselves into thinking that it's actually logic or reason that led us there. Exactly. And that's exactly what's happening in the country today. Well